just to get it out of the way, guys, I have a peanut head, uh, Mr. Planners, reporting for uh, duty and TV show. Um, yeah, so, uh, well, this isn't our normal show, which is, you know, core content. We, uh, we like to explore the internet for stupidity and other things. Well, I mean, I guess you could call it core content because there is stupidity involved, but uh, I mean, it's not our, it's not our average afternoon wave, which, you know, politics, social commentary, making fun, um, being a sycophant to ROTC, um, yeah, um, yeah, Clep, uh, I'm, I, I'm ripping them off directly, you know, it wasn't, uh, the ROTC audience who suggested the name or anything, but, you know, it is what it is, and I have a, a giant, big ass head, guys, I, there's two sides to every story, guys, and, well, I'm gonna address it point by point, because I think that's, I think that's the actual, uh, smart way to go about things, instead of just stating, untruths and making things up. Um, many of the things that were said were, um, all the stuff was paid for for us. Well, that's not true. Uh, the flight, yes, the flight was paid for. Uh, Worski and Ralph uh, split the hotel room at this point because the Indiegogo was refunded. And uh, let's see what else. All my meals were paid for. Um, I'm trying to think. Ah, fuck it. We'll let them say it in their own terms because I'm not going to put words in their mouth. Unlike other people, uh, banned you. Why would no one, we don't ban here, Stormblessed. You're more than welcome to chat. Uh, we don't ban here. See, I, I'm okay with naysayers. I'm okay with naysayers. But I want to go point by point because the fact of the matter is there were so many Lie said about SoCal Chris and myself that it's it's ridiculous. Um, oh, and I only have 10 gigs of uh, video footage. My my estimates were off. I have a lot more than that. Uh, I threw it into a uh, Google Drive for uh, Gina when Gina was going to be doing the editing for Andy, and you know was holding on to it till I got paid. However, let's let's go point by point. Many of you have heard this. If you've heard this, I'm sorry. We're going to rehash it and we're going to break it down and we're going to break down the lies. Um, as you can see, just a quick run through. I have a bunch of screen grabs from my text. A bunch of screen grabs from, uh, uh, well, Andy, Geek, others. And that's, that's going to come into play as we go through so you guys know what's going on. Hey, say no to Gina. All right, let, let, let's stop this right here. He said, how about you LARP some money into... Oh, you fuckers deleted it too fast. How about you LARP some money into AJ Luck's pocket? Hey, how about AJ Luck or AG Luck actually did something? How about that? How about yeah. these two lazy faggots that got a fucking free trip to fucking Miami that did fucking nothing? AG Luck goes, I had an itinerary for shit. And I'm like, well, did Andy know? Uh, yes, Andy knew. Andy uh, was told multiple times what the plans were and what the things were. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna say no, of course, because it doesn't fit his narrative. Uh, SoCal Chris uh, suggested a lot of things, and they were on the plan, like the Gator Farm, uh, airboat ride, uh, beachfront skits, other things, sit down skits at the uh, the hotel. We wanted to do this cool little skit where. It was like Worski versus Ralph, and they were talking uh, almost, almost the uh, you know the stereotypical reality TV show um, confessional bullshit. No, oh, I didn't, didn't tell him. Actually, I did. Geek, geek, geek seems to know everything because Geek was there, guys. You never saw him on camera, but Geek was there in body and spirit. He was there the whole time. We just didn't know. Or, or, or admitting on this show that we went out. Yeah, um, I can actually pull that up and respond to that because, of course, they're going to twist my words here. Here, here. here we go. We went out and did stuff. Well, I didn't want to go out. I didn't. Uh, no, I chose not to go out when you wanted to go grab food that, what, are we going to film you guys eating? That's, that's high-quality content. I chose not to go out when 
uh, you refuse to have this sit down with uh, uh, Ralph at the hotel room, like many of us suggested, and have the conversation. But um, yeah, so I refused every time to go out. Mm -hmm. Look, while you're trying to get your dick sucked by some fucking nasty fucking slut in a bar, why don't you actually pick up a fucking camera and do what you're paid to do, you fucking peanut-headed faggot? Oh, God, guys, he made a joke that many of you have made in this chat before. Holy shit, the originality coming from this guy just spills out. It spills out like, oh, man, so original, geek. Like, no one's ever said anything about my head before. And uh, Gino... Gina, Honestly, dude, step you, you, back. you think you're fuck Yeah, stay the fuck back. Okay, guys, Gino needs to stay the fuck back, apparently, because ha 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 ha, that's a meme. That's a meme about uh, Alex, because it's super hilarious that Alex got uh, arrested. And do I like Alex? Not really, because Alex is a piece of shit in my eyes. But I'll, I'll, I'll let Gino's remix of uh, this whole situation speak for itself. Gino, stay the, f the fuck back. Gino, <laughs> you, 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 yeah, stay <laughs> the fuck, fuck back. Holy <laughs> shit. Gino, stay back. back. Gino, stay the fuck back. Gino, you, 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 yeah, stay the fuck, fuck back. Holy stay shit. Back. Gino, stay back. back. So, uh, Gino sent me that remix of, uh, them, and, uh, he took it and made it his own. Uh, you know, Gino's a Gino's a pretty talented a editor. They all, they all, they all want fucking. And I refunded all the fucking money, so I'm actually minus thousands of dollars. Oh, I fucking stole Cal Chris. I spent uh, five hundred and Uber. Hey, so yeah, much fucking you... money. He spent like ten dollars on three Ubers. Okay, you are out the money you spent there. Okay, sounds good. Um, but. You weren't paying me for there. That's what a lot of people don't seem to understand is he doesn't, isn't paying me for March. This the money he owes me is for February, for scripts, for working for him, for doing the Indiegogo, for managing that, for booking everyone's flights, for all that shit. But he wants to convey it as if it's for March. You know why? Because that makes him look sympathetic. Oh, you didn't do anything, nigga. Please, I got a lot of footage that I will be releasing over time and, and, but I didn't do anything, guys. I didn't try to keep Andy from self-destructing or try to keep, uh, keep, uh, Ralph from getting arrested or anything like that. Huh. I didn't do anything, guys. I was literally sitting in the hotel room being a lazy asshole the whole time. Mm -hmm. So true. We need I more money. The money. I that, know you paid for our plane tickets or, or us to. Yeah, plane tickets to go out and do a job, which was damn near impossible because people slept in all day and refused to hear out SoCal Chris or myself when we made suggestions or failure. Who made suggestions? Oh, I don't have the money for that. If you didn't spend, I don't know, 150 on a haircut, you might have been able to do more things. That's right, guys. That Miami haircut cost them $150. Because there wasn't anywhere to go. Like, uh, I don't know, a fucking bodega barbershop? Hmm. Hmm. Stay there, you even bought us fucking hotel, food. Pay for all the meals, paying for drinks. Pay oh, paying for all the meals. Paying for all the meals. Paid uh. for all the meals and drinks. Now, shortly, Geek and Andy will mention that Andy handed me his credit card. At the bar where they were mad because I was hitting on that chick. Um, Andy. That place was called Churchill's Pub. Failure can attest to that. I can actually show you. And if if he hadn't deleted all of his shit, you guys could see it yourself. But, you know, he's hitting all his videos. Um, hold on. What's that right there? Churchill's Pub, 30 bucks. Uber. Um, Mama tried. Uh, let's, let's, hold on. It zoomed in. Let's, let's zoom out. Mama tried, mama tried, mama tried. So if you guys remember, Andy did a stream on the night that Polly was in town, his really good friend from Canada. 
and uh, Polly paid for a couple of Andy's drinks at Mama Tried, and I paid for the rest. You know why? Because Andy forgot his goddamn card. Um, I'm zooming out so you guys can actually see 52, 38, 15. Those were all tabs. Yes, some of my drinks were on there. I think I spent like $25 because I drink scotch. So I'm slow roll. I slow roll all of my drinks when I drink, which is extremely rare. Um, Mama tried. Uh, let's see. That is close to, close to, well, it is. It's over 100 bucks, right? Um, if I drank $100 worth of scotch, I would die. And... But Andy paid for everything, guys. Oh, no, that was the night he forgot his credit card when Polly was there. But I paid for everything. Was I reimbursed for that? Nah. Uh, I can show more evidence of me buying multiple packs of cigarettes, etc. Did I buy multiple packs for myself? No, I buy a pack at a time. I was buying Andy cigarettes as well. But Andy paid for everything, guys. Andy paid for everything. Oh, Churchill's Pub. He makes the claim shortly that I asked for his credit card. Never asked for his credit card uh, while we were in Miami at all. I think I asked for his credit card when he asked me to grab him some expensive shit while we were on the road to Miami uh, at some little shithole place in like North Carolina or South Carolina. And so I could grab him his shit. Uh, did I ask for it there? Nah. Did I ask for it at Churchill's like he's going to claim? Nope. Evidence is right there. Paid $30 in... Uh, drinks, which actually included one of Andy's drinks. So, you know, but I'm the shithead who begged for money and didn't, didn't pay my own way at all, guys. Not at all. Paying for you to get your dick sucked, AG. Shut the fuck up. Actually, it's called skill and actually not being a pussy to talk to girls is what got my dick sucked. You didn't pay for shit. What you paid for was to complain and bitch and moan because you couldn't get any. Sorry. Man, you, AG, you were so lucky I wasn't there. I would have fucking made a smear on that pillar behind your head with your fucking dome. Oh, sure you would have, geek. It's easy to say you'll do something on the internet. I'm, I'm, I'm someone who said they'll do stuff on the internet, uh, but it's really easy to say it when you're not around. Oh, and you weren't around because what? Because you were too busy playing PS4, not writing the scripts Andy asked you for. Too busy playing PS4, not working on the Red Dead series we were working on together. Too busy playing PS4 instead of doing reviews. What? 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 How hard do you work for for uh, Andy? How much more work do you do than me? I don't know. I I, I think uh, I think the fact that I was pumping out in, in January and February, I was pumping out, I don't know, three to four scripts a day for Andy when we were doing, uh, before he lost hype break to Ian Miles Chong. Uh, the last six scripts were my scripts. The last three edits were my edits on those. So not only did I script it, but I edited those. And what? What? What were you doing? Oh, Andy asked you for, I don't know, a script. Oh, give me 48 hours. Give me 48 hours. Uh, no, I need it today. But, uh, well, I'm sick. Um, nigga, if you're that sick, you shouldn't be sitting and playing PS4. It's easy to tell when you're playing PS4 because you have Andy on your friends list, you goofball. Ow. Andy texts me on Saturday. And, uh, well, well, let's zoom in. Uh, as you can see, Saturday, April 27th, yo, I'm going to send you the money, dude. But after I do, I want you, I want to refund the money. He's talking about from the Indiegogo because uh, I'll say this, dude, you text like fucking someone who can't put paragraphs together. It's like a sentence, part of a sentence, continuing the sentence fucking all the time. Uh, that could be one paragraph text. It would be extremely easy to do, but I'm going to send you the money, dude. But after I do, I want you, uh, I want to refund the money from the Indiegogo since there isn't enough footage. Uh, but I'll definitely still pay you. I think it's the responsible thing to do. Anyways, I hope you're well. Uh, I think it's up to you in regards to the Indiegogo, wh whatever you want to do. I appreciate you sending me the February money for sure. That's appreciated, of course. Can I call you in a second? Bro, yeah, that's fine. Cool, dude. He called me. We had a conversation. 
he actually, if, if, if I was so bad at my job, if I was so bad at everything, guys, why would he want to work with me again? Oh, dude, I really miss working with you. I really miss, uh, when we used to write scripts together and bang out videos on the fly on discord and elsewhere. I really miss that. Uh, I, I kind of want to go back to generic, um, social commentary stuff on war ski and edited videos. And I'd like to work with you again. So Cal Chris, Hey, what are you telling people, man? Huh? In regards to what Alex messaged me saying, you're saying stuff about me. What did he say? Okay, cool. He said, you were saying that Andy still owes me a certain amount. Nope. Lies. Uh, which I said, ice, I, I, which I said, I was back in the red and even Andy told me and even told Andy, yes, I was pissed, but I think Andy is telling him shit blown out, uh, out of proportion. So, um, there you go, Alex building up bullshit because why? Because he likes the drama and it's his good way to keep Andy under his thumb. Now, as of the end of Monday, I was going to be paid. Andy was going to pay me by Monday. Okay. Well, I did a stream talking about the Indiegogo and just saying, uh, like I said, that I think it would be a good look on Andy to pay SoCal some money for uh, March, which I think it would. I'm not going to change that statement. I do think it would be good and a good look to hook SoCal up. SoCal went out there. He did not do what I did and yell at Andy or even get in his face about shit. He st stuck through it and tried to push through it. And he has never said a negative thing until recently when Andy started talking shit about SoCal. Huh. If you can't keep the people who are good to you and who um, actually don't shit on you back in kind of a good position, you're going to end up with bad situations. So not doing anything. I got an idea. I got an idea. Mr. Hips don't work so fucking good. Why don't you get up, grab a fucking camera, do something instead of going, I got to talk to my kids. Oh, now, now geek wants to throw slant at, uh, at SoCal Chris, because the guy is torn ligaments in his legs is losing a lot of weight. I think he's lost like 150 pounds. Um, and has bad hips, and because he cares about his family, geek, just because you hate your mom doesn't mean everyone hates their, their family. You get that, right? People can enjoy, people can enjoy and talk to their kids. They were his kids. Unlike, okay, I think geek has a kid. I'm almost positive. Just because you don't call your kid every day, and this is all hearsay, and me talking shit. Yes, it is. But because you, you don't call your kid every day doesn't mean every other father is that way. Hey, buddy. You, you want only one fucking filming shit. Oh. 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 Even though there's video footage of us filming stuff behind you while you were live streaming the whole time. Uh, the skits and everything else that we talked about. How, how'd those go? Oh, if I suck so bad at my job, then, you know, you were trying so hard to get footage. Why does SoCal Chris not have any footage of you doing anything besides live streaming? Why does SoCal Chris not have that footage? It was all my fault, guys. Remember? Everything, this whole failure of a trip was my fault. So, since it's my fault, SoCal Chris should have a shit ton of footage of Andy, right? Doing things, and, and I was the failure. Okay. Well, uh, I'll tell you a secret. So Cal Chris doesn't have any footage like that. You know why? Because none of us could get Andy to actually fucking do anything besides go to bars and fucking drink. Oh, oh, they went to a psychic and Geek is so well informed. Geek is so well informed, guys. You'll see how well informed he is. I was the only one with a camera in my fucking hand filming live shit. You and Taylor were the only two actually doing shit. Yeah. The rest well, of yeah, the fucking people are on a vacation. I paid for your fucking vacation. If that's a vacation, I fucking would be better off joining Minecraft and killing myself. Because that definitely was not a vacation. That was a stress-induced nightmare. Trying to get two people to do stuff. 
even trying to get Andy to do stuff when Ralph was doing his streams and shit and not, not out with us. Trying to get Andy to do stuff was like fucking trying to pull teeth from a goddamn German shepherd who has a hold of your fucking arms. The reason he has a hold of your arms because he's refusing to do anything that you guys are giving advice on. But you're, you're the manager. You're the one I'm going to leave a little bit of the reins to. I'm going to take your advice. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. I tried letting it go. Yeah, you were, just, you were trying to do the Chris Walsky thing. Andy, you were trying Andy, to fuck my fucking thing. I'm done with you. I'm done with you guys. You were Andy, trying to do the Chris Walsky thing. You were gonna let like let it go and just go. All right, I'll just get these fuckers paid, and then they can just. Go. And did he get me paid? Did he get me paid? No. <laughs> go fuck uh, the fuck off and, and just hey, stay hey, the fuck G, away and hey, not hey, mention G, it. Can you film? Can you film this one funny scene? We were. We, like we were at this bar, it was like a, you know, like a, this dive bar, and we're trying to get, you know, like I had Ubered everyone there, I had bought everyone's drinks. And no, you didn't. In fact, I'm pretty sure AG was like, you don't have your visa for a sec. No, you didn't, and no, I didn't. Oh, that's the wrong one again. Churchill's Pub, where you're trying to make these statements. Oh shit! Who paid for their own shit? As usual. Andy, as usual. This was Churchill's. This was Churchill's pub where I was hitting on the girl. Yes, Churchill's pub. The reason my tab was 30 is because I bought Andy a drink. I bought the girl a drink and then I bought myself drinks. Drinks were actually a really reasonable price there. If you're ever in Miami, check out Churchill's bar. Um, I'm going to show you the bar so you guys can, um, if Andy ever opens back up Purple Dragon where you can actually see the old footage and shit. Uh, that it's this place. Uh, this was the place with the uh, uh, the band and the weird like red light back room, which I have footage of the back room and walking through all the craziness and shit. Um, Churchill's in Miami. This is this is the place. They actually unintentionally show the sign in that stream and actually leak where we were at on that. And this is the bar, but. But guys, Andy paid for everything. Andy will now state that I came and asked for his credit card. Let's hear it. Let me let me back up a little. I had Ubered everyone there. I had bought everyone's drinks. And in fact, I'm pretty sure AG's like, you don't have your visa for a sec? Nope. Pretty sure. He said pretty sure because he's not positive and he doesn't want to be caught in that situation. He's just wrong. He doesn't know half the shit he's spewing out of his ass. He right. And there was like this room where it was like a blowjob room. It was really funny. There was comic book like covers everywhere on the inside. Comic book. But, it, oh. but this was like a grimy like. So you, so the whole thing was fit, have AG film walk in there. No, he's talking to some fucking two dirty hoes. Jealousy, jealousy, Andy, jealousy. Are you are you mad because Alex pulled the broad you wanted to pull at the bar before I yelled at you? Are you mad because I actually have the stones to talk to girls, even though I have a fat centaur body, according to Geek Thulu? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm sorry your lack of confidence doesn't allow you to fucking interact with women. Uh, confirming Storm's Bless one is Alex's Facebook URL. Huh. Interesting. Surprising that the Spurg who's sucking Alex's dick is Alex. <laughs> yeah. Don't believe these lies. Don't believe these lies. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's look, guys. Oh, 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 oh! You outed yourself, son. You played yourself, nigga. <laughs> no, and he like looked annoyed, and I'm like, why are you here? Why are you here? I flew you from California to Florida, cross Holy country. Shit. J Johnny. He tries to make a big deal out of the plane ticket cost. Um, the flights into Richmond were, or actually Dulles, because we flew into D.C., were about, um, I think Chris's was 225, 240. I, could, I would actually have to look back at the receipts. Uh, and mine was like 225 out of uh, LAX. Um, he acts like he spent a billion fucking dollars on our plane tickets. That's it? That's all you did? You bought my plane ticket? I would already paid you fucking what? 150 plus vacation plus your stay at your hotel. It doesn't fucking matter. 
what you paid for my flight, what you paid for the hotel, dude. That was part of the agreement to come out to Miami. You get that, right? That wasn't anything to do with February. They're two separate things. I already showed you stating that you knew you owed me money. And that you were going to pay. This was Saturday. All before he decided to be a Spurg and let Geek Thulu, the fucking lying sack of shit who wasn't there but is making up shit and saying shit. And apparently I have a peanut head, guys. You have never, ever been nothing but honest when it came to money. But you let Geek back into your life and you start being this shady little fuck. You let Geek manipulate you. You let fucking Alex lie to you. Hey, Storm Blessed, where'd you go? Seems like you ran away pretty fast there, buddy, when you got outed that you are Alex. Seems like you don't have much more to say. Just come in on Unpleasant Alex. Come in on Skip the Pleasantries. Come in on Unpleasant Media, which has no content and one fucking subscriber. Congratulations. You played yourself. You put yourself in a position now to face four Class A felonies for Andy Worski, who can't even, can't even take 200 and, or pardon me, $350 out of his wallet and pay Plus. All that bullshit, but the, all the food and this and that and that and that and that, right? Yeah. Yeah, you paid for so much of my food. You know what Andy paid for my food the whole time that we were out there for the week and a half? A fucking chicken sandwich from McDonald's. He paid for my meal once. $3, nigga. That's so expensive. I didn't just pay for a bunch of drinks for you, bought you packs of smokes, etc. And with the thought of being reimbursed. But... You're going to cry about it. You're going to cry about, oh, I spent so much money on them. Nigga, you didn't spend shit on me. You literally still owe me $350 for February. You literally owe me at least $50 for Mama Tried because you forgot your credit card. You know who else can attest to that is your boy, Polly, because Polly was there. You know who else can attest to that? Oh, failure. Um, Yeah. Hmm. That's your fucking... That there's your pay for buying me a fucking plane ticket. Like when you guys are watching the streams, how many times did you hear fucking AG Luck or or one one uh, or or SoCal say, "Hey Andy, can I have your debit card?" Yeah, how many times did I say that? Open back up the footage. Open back up the footage and listen to how many times I say that. We'll see. I guarantee you, I didn't say it but once, and it was to get something that Andy wanted while we were still on the drive. And I don't even know if that was, if we were live streaming at that point. So I'm owning it there, but you know what? It was for buying his own shit. Did I buy anything for myself? I don't think so. If I did, it was a five hour energy because I was the one driving the whole fucking way from Richmond to Miami, which is a 14 hour drive. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. If you look at my charges to Miami, shit, I'm a clipper. You're more than welcome to clip whatever you want. Just make sure the context is there, Fembot. It's disgusting. It looks like I was a fire. I was like, so, like I was, <laughs> oh my God. And I was hoping, you know, maybe we'll have enough. I was trying to get people to film. And then I'm, you know, 10, 10 gigs of fucking footage. 4K footage. Again, again, I misstated, you fucking goof. I have about 50 minutes, maybe an hour of actual footage. Some establishing shots, some shit that no one saw uh, because it was conversations and fun, goofy shit. And I will be releasing it. It's very big. I don't need establishing shots. I don't need have any fucking an actual film. You don't need establishing shots when you're trying to make a documentary. And Andy, I thought you were the, the professional in this. I thought you understand how to make movies, etc. So why wouldn't you need establishing shots? Hmm. You don't need that because why? Hmm. Film. Film is shit. Ralph took the hit too when I refunded the money because he paid for he paid for the the fucking hotel, right? And you know what he said? He went, yeah, fair enough, you know, because we don't have enough for episodes. We don't want to scam people. Yeah, for sure. I don't see Ralph fucking bitching. Because it's two separate things, you fucking retard. You get that February and March are two separate things. Hey, 
Hey, stop deflecting, shit brick. How many times have I asked you for money for March? Never. Oh, never. I've stated multiple times even what the conversation was that I had. Andy. Andy's like, yeah, and whatever we make in 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 uh in Miami, I'll hook you and SoCal Chris up. You guys have been doing a lot of work for me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nah, dude. You I don't need that. You paid for my flight. You're paying for the hotel and the Airbnb. I don't need that, dude. So what are you talking about here? Are you still talking about Miami and deflecting from the fact that it's for February? February. You fucking idiot. Yeah. Ralph was very actually positive about it. He thought it was a great idea. He said, you know what? Yeah, we should refund. He's like, where's my money? Where's my money? Take your fuck. And then SoCal pretending I didn't pay him the full 500. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Okay. All right. So here, here's a little, here's a little backstory on SoCal. SoCal is unemployed. The wife constantly busting his fucking balls. Hey, geek, how about you don't put people's personal shit out there? This is the kind of shit that why people don't like you. You go from kissing the dude's ass, being friends with the dude to talking mad shit all to what? Regain your control over Andy because you were too lazy in, in Mar, uh, pardon me, in January and February to do shit playing fucking video games. I guarantee you have as many trophies as me and I've had the PlayStation since fucking day one because all you do is play video games. You're not creating your own content. You're not doing scripts that Andy wants. Oh, and he wants to, he'll, don't worry guys. He'll get into the point where he makes fun of my script ability. Hmm. Why were my scripts pulling off 25 to 50,000 views on, uh, on uh hype break when we were still doing that shit? And what were yours pulling? Oh, you did one, you did one script and it was fucking shit. You want to make fun of mine? We can't go back and look because Ian has deleted all the stuff in, in accordance with Andy. But if anyone has any of the, uh, the hype break stuff from the end, let me know about not having a fucking job or making money right so i'm like you know what andy we should help socal out let's help him uh design this fucking website for volition all right so he starts to fucking work on it i ask him to make fucking changes never does it he said give me two days and i'll make the changes i was like how about i give you five because i know this person i know how slow they are and then he was like well it's a good thing you told me five at three days later and but then he never completed it. He never finished it. He never made any of the changes. Actually, he did. That's a bold faced fucking lie, you sack of shit. He did make the changes. He fucking made the changes. But when you can't reach out to Andy and you can't ask him the things, does the archive actually let you click off? Holy shit. I've never dicked around with archives. Um, let's go back to article. So... This was the start of the website. This was the start of it. And well, SoCal Chris put it all together. Granted, it is probably it's, oh, can't find that one. I think because editorials were never used. Uh, yeah, SoCal put it together. They wanted the, the VN changed. If, if uh, someone had an older archive of it, the uh, the stuff that uh, SoCal changed it from when it was supposed to be with hype break and other stuff, you don't see hype break on there anymore now, do you? Well, that's because SoCal went in and actually took care of it and did it. And yeah, he's such a monster for you know taking care of his kids. Uh, thank you. Uh, I was just trying to show uh, the bullshit lie that SoCal didn't do anything. Um, yeah, well. I mean, it may be an ugly ass logo, but it's what Andy wanted. So it is what it is. I don't know. At all. I worked on that website the entire time. You purchased <laughs> it from like fucking website tree.com or whatever and changed it to fucking font. Congratulations. So, so well, I did. And, oh, I, and guess, guess who paid for that fucking that, that, that website? No. Sh <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I was about to start yelling. Yeah. Guess who paid for the website, guys? Uh, the company and the person whose website it is. Oh, me. I paid for the website. Congratulations. That's what you're supposed to do when you're running a fucking business. You get that, right? 
Who do you, you want SoCal to pay for the website? No, nigga, that's not how it works. Jesus Christ. I know you're too stupid to realize that you should have an LLC because all this shit you're doing could get you sued. And there's plenty of evidence out there that you could get sued over. But you don't even have the wits about you to get an LLC. So I don't think you understand how running a business works. How many times did I advise you? Get an LLC. Um, I do not have Twitter, unfortunately. I was uh, roasted off the platform as of last August for calling a girl who called me a Nazi a thought. Uh, But yeah, so after being told you need to get an LLC, we could do it out of Delaware. We could do it out of, I don't know if Canada does their shit, but we could do it out of Delaware. It's super cheap. All you need is a PO box. Hey, how much, how much effort have you put into that? Oh, (laughs) none. You don't have an LLC. Are you, are you, are you dumb? Yeah. Yeah. Get yourself an intern, someone that you don't have to pay who wants to dick ride. Oh, that's, <laughs> I forgot his name's Alex. <laughs> Alex is his fucking intern at 30. Hey, Alex, I thought you had a job and that you were on vacation down in Miami, but I didn't see you work once when you and Andy were dicking around on those, all those IRL streams before you got arrested. Anyways, I'm not going to comment any more on that. I probably will, but how the fuck how the do f- you forget? And how the fuck do you realize that when you're not making me money, I cannot pay you. Andy should Andy should refund me the fucking money or, or refund the money and then pay me. Well, if I take the hit, you take the hit too. And I still paid you fucking 500 SoCal and all your shit. Fucking oh, AG Luck. Let's not, let's not. He's like, oh, well, I've been told that before about my head. It, I, I was very chill and nice about everything. Oh, you were. You no, were, you AG. Were. Were you, oh, hold on. Were you, were you not talking shit about me? Like on the car ride there? You fucking disingenuous fucking. Oh, my God. You're a. Oh, Geek's mad because I made fun of him during the car ride where I said, wow, he's, he's. Is he being too lazy and sitting at home playing video games instead of coming out and having lunch with us? Oh, no. Oh, that's so disingenuous. I was trying to be so secretive about the shit talk. Um, what you don't understand, Geek, is the sentence I stated was, I've been chill about this. I'm talking about the Andy owing me money. Uh, just because you don't make un- money on a situation, Andy, that's not... Okay, okay. Here it is. Let me break it down for the fucking idiots that don't understand business. That's not how business works. If you work at fucking McDonald's and that McDonald's isn't profitable for the month, they don't say, well, sorry, employees, you're not getting paid. That's not how it works, you dense retards, okay? You owe me 350 So be it. You'll never pay me because you're too big of a pussy and not a man of your word. Oh. Um, who asked to be refunded? Did I bring up the refund? Did I suggest it? No, you suggested it. You're the one who said, do it. I'm going to send you money. Oh, really? Cool. Sounds good. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you're going to send me my money. Finally, after two months of owing me it. Sounds good. But I want you to refund the Indiegogo. Okay, cool. Um, but I'll definitely still pay you. I think it's a responsible thing to do. And I, I have forgotten about it, but I'm going to bring it up because of the simple fact that if he's going to continuously lie and make statements like this to his audience, which is much, much bigger than mine, even though he's banning half those fucking idiots and, uh, like their whole little gay cult shit, dude, everyone you banned They don't give a fuck if they're banned. They'll just come back with a different account. You know why? Because they're just watching you burn. They're watching you burn. That's the whole reason they're there. They're there to watch you flame out. You get that, right? Okay? You get that, right, guys? Who, okay, in the chat... Who would agree with the fact that if you've been banned from Andy Worski's chat, 
Were you there because you're a true fan? Or are you there because you wanted to watch the shit show implode? AG, I'd, I'd fuck, oh, I wish I was there. I would have fucking punched you on the other side of your head and even that shit out. You fucking retard. Aww. Oh, oh, oh and yeah, you know, you, in, in here, in here's, in here is what. Here's the reason why I didn't meet up with Andy when he was coming through Jacksonville because I didn't want to deal with your fucking ass. Sure, geek. Sure, it's not because you were hanging out with the girlfriend. Uh, it's not because you were too busy fucking jerking off to some fucking pixel shaded titties on video games. None of that. Because hmm. I don't like you. I oh. think you're a fucking I think you're a fucking snake. 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 I don't have it pulled up or so I'd play it. And then and then when I decided not to, yeah. your yeah. fucking little faggot ass was sitting there in the back of the fucking car talking shit about me. Yeah, which was funny. I said you were being too busy being pussy whipped and you couldn't take fucking I don't know, 2 hours out of your day to come and have lunch with your supposed best friend, Andy Worski, and the rest of us. What? I'm not going to lie about that. You are a pussy. Talk a mad shit about me. And then when we're talking, this is before I even know, you're kissing my fucking ass. Oh, kissing your ass. Hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, here's where we get into the uh, quote unquote kissing ass. Let's see. Let's see, you guys. Let's see how much ass I'm kissing. I was kissing that big fat ass that Geek has. Okay. Uh, who reached out to me? Hmm. That'd be geek messaging me. Uh, hey, I just wanted... I just talked to Chris about getting the series done. I heard that you had the other half of Richmond Miami footage. Just curious as to uh, what the holdup on production is. I'm just waiting on my payment for February's work, and I'll be sending it to Andy or whoever. I don't expect any kind of pay for March as we cut ties, and I told Andy about this already, and he understands. Okay. I'm just trying to get a handle on what is done and being done. I want to get this project completed in order to get past it. Yeah, so do I, man. Andy and Ralph need to stop saying that the rest of the things they're doing is part of the footage because it seems like deflection. Uh, I was talking about that whole uh, trip to New York and stuff like that. I have all the files and will upload them to the Google Drive for whoever. Uh, I ended up having to use my own money in Richmond and Miami because we were supposed to get our February pay before the trip, which was what I planned on using. So I'm actually struggling with rent this month. Yeah, I actually did that month. I'm all caught back up because unlike you guys, I don't sit and rely only on YouTube money. Um, how much is owed so I can get this rolling? 350. I don't want you to pay it though, geek. Andy needs to pay it, brother. I'll have, uh, I'll have to... I'll have the footage all uploaded for you guys once I get it from him. No, I'm not going to pay it. I'm just going to get him to pay it. I'm trying to take care of accounting and payrolling people. I want him to meet all expectations. Oh, he knows about it. I asked a few days ago and I want him to meet it, meet them too, because it's not a good look. But yeah, so uh, I was kissing Geek's ass. No, 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 no. Geek was trying to do what Geek needed to do to keep Andy from looking bad. Um... Did I reach out to Geek? Nah. I don't kiss ass, Geek. Unlike you, I don't lie about shit either, brother. I'm not a fucking pussy, Geek. You happen to be a pussy. Congratulations. You've manipulated Andy back to fucking doing stupid shit that Andy was doing. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are such a great influence on him destroying his life it's like always when this shit falls apart and this shit happens um you're there to jump on you're there to fucking dick ride andy you know that once all the pieces start falling apart and you start getting in his ear but i'm the snake i'm not a snake geek i'm not you i'm not you trying to fucking I don't know, send my dick pics, not have double authentication on Discord, and then leak out because I'm too stupid to not have double authentication. Get fucked, you goofy fuck. Go back to being a 40-year-old with a kid who doesn't spend time with it. Go back to fucking sitting around playing video games all day. Go back to the fucking business that you supposedly own. Go back to doing something with your life. You are a sad excuse of a human. And you want to call me out? 
You want to call me out? At least I wasn't too stupid to fucking get a bitch pregnant and then not take care of the kid. Sorry. That was you. That was you. How about you fucking fight for your kids? How about you call them? You want to make fun of SoCal Chris for fucking wanting to talk to his children while he was out on the trip? How about you get fucked? Oh, how's your channel doing, Geek? Oh, you have 900 subscribers and you put out fucking, what, one video that gets 200 views? Congrats. You're the fucking dick riding e-fame writer. You moot your way into communities. You don't fucking do anything. You you write better scripts than me and you want to make fun of my scripts. But yeah, so uh, real original, Geek. You're the punchline of your own life, dude. Fuck you, you fake little prick. Oh, I'm so scared. Exactly. Exactly. I had a phone call with him. Though. Oh yeah, no, 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 don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the money. Where's that three fifty? Text me the other day. There's no money. What, what about the time that the Planters Peanut Head? head. Again, Planters Peanut Head. Also, don't worry about the money. No, 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 no. We were talking about if. <laughs> See. You are a manipulative fuckbag, Andy. I was saying, don't worry about money if I help you write scripts. Don't worry about that shit. What else did I tell you? How would you actually say it all instead of being a pussy little fuck? I might help you again if you actually own your shit. If you actually go on and show receipts of you paying me. If you don't fucking make it. If you go, and, and I said this to him, I'm all like, if you continue to go through and get mental help, yeah, on Monday I'm going, hey, Monday came around. Where did he go, guys? Hmm? Yeah, did, he, did he get the CAT scan or whatever he had to get, the EKG? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I don't think so. No, but I didn't say don't worry about February's money, you lying sack of shit. I said, don't worry about paying me if I start writing scripts for you because, well, I didn't want my name associated with them. I am down to write for people as a fucking not associated with them because I even told Andy this. Don't, he's like, well, I'll link to your channel. I'm like, no. Bye. <laughs> Andy Worski acts like a bipolar nigger. <laughs> Thanks, Nightwave. Um, so you decide to go on and try and make up lies. No, I said, I don't want you to link to me if I do help you write any scripts because one, I don't want your negative blowback. The shit you're doing and the shit you're going through, you need to straighten it out first. Then I will help you. And he's like, yeah, I understand that. And then what does he do? All because of storm blessed one, unpleasant Alex, unpleasant blah, 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 lies, which I already showed. He starts spurging out on me and has a whole show of what, 30 minutes talking shit about me in SoCal? What about the time that Planters Peanut Trump. had threatened to punch uh, SoCal while, while they're driving? Oh, yeah. We were driving up to Miami. Okay, so Ralph is in the, 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 you know, the back passenger seat. I'm in the back, like, where the driver's seat is. So, SoCal is, like, I guess he's eating, like, I, AG, first of all, AG, the ride there with you was miserable. All you do is complain and you scream. Yeah. I complained about one thing. I did own that to SoCal. I was an asshole to SoCal. But here's where the fabrication comes in. First of all. Secondly, he fucking takes a swing at SoCal. Oh, Oh, Andy, Andy, why must you lie, my friend? Why do you lie when the person, hold on, hold on. I got to find it. Got to find it. There's so many people. There's so much shit here. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, Andy, you fucking lying sack of trash. Why do you lie? Why do you lie when you know you're going to get caught in it? Did I swing on you? Because that's what Andy and Geek are saying. I don't remember doing that. Oh, and I made this. Oh, that was my, uh, what's it called? And I'm zooming in so I can actually fucking A, dude. I hate my fucking layout. Uh, here, I'm going to move. Let me move some stuff around so I can actually show you it all. God damn it, I hit control again. Fuck. Uh, no. 
You never swung at me. We just had the spat in the car. Nothing big. Hmm. Huh. Huh. You fucking lying sack of shit. The only person I threatened to swing at was you. I yelled at SoCal because I was tired and angry from the drive. And he was smacking and I was being a dick. I did. I did yell at him and I own that. Yeah, I was an asshole. Congratulations, you caught me on being an asshole. Hey, hey, you've been caught in I don't know how many fucking lies. How many lies have you been caught in since I started this stream? And we're only, I don't know, about, uh, I'd say 45% through. Maybe a little more. How many lies have you been caught in, Geek and Andy? How many fucking lies? Do you guys actually like like being fucking called out and shown what fucking scum you are? Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy me making you my bitch? Do you enjoy it? Because that's what I've been doing this whole time. I've made you my bitch. Because you're a lying sack of shit. You could have let it go. Like you said, I was willing to move on. So was I. All it took was you paying me the fucking money. All it took was that. And you're like, yeah, 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 I'll pay you Sunday or Monday. Okay, good. Sounds good. Monday night rolls around and I send him a text. Hey, what's good with the 350? And no response. And no response. And then a stream with him and Geek Thulu with their fucking dicks in each other's asses talking shit. Hey, like, I swear to God, dude. I was like, I, I, I. Oh, you swear to God about what? Your lies? Here, let's let's hear the swear to God. Where the driver see this. So, SoCal is, like, I guess he's eating, like, I, AG, first of all, AG, the ride there with you was miserable. All you do is complain and you scream. Okay, first of all. Oh, Secondly, oh, 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 oh. he fucking takes a swing at SoCal. Like, I swear to God, dude. I was like. Oh, see, now that's not, that's not probably, possibly. That's a statement of fact, Andy, which is a blatant lie. Coming from the person who I supposedly swung at. Did I swing at him? No, I yelled. I was pissy. I'd been driving for fucking nine hours. Nine fucking hours with no sleep the day before because I wanted to make sure we got down there at a decent time to Miami. But, but it's not like, uh, oh, I was screaming the whole time. Oh, is that why when you were doing your carpool karaoke that there was me screaming the whole time? Is that why, I don't know, every stream you have in the car, no, no issue? Huh? Huh? Anyone, guys? Anyone? Anyone want to make up bullshit stories more? Hey, uh, hey, uh, Andy, what else lies? What other lies can you say about SoCal Chris and me, you fucking idiot? 